30-year-old Michelle Campbell and 31-year-old Paul Weber are behind bars after their son was found locked inside a dog cage and the two daughters were left outside in the rain. At 12.52pm on Thursday the 23rd of March, authorities responded to a home at 4215 Glenview Street in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on reports of screaming and found two girls aged 3 and 5 partially dressed crying outside in the cold rain. Officers picked them up and gained entry into the residence. Once inside, they found a naked six-year-old boy locked inside a small dog cage with a pillow and a blanket that was secured with a zip tie. It's unclear how long the boy had been kept there for. Five children reportedly lived at the house, including two who were at school. The three children were taken to the St. Christopher's Hospital for evaluation. An 80-year-old woman in a wheelchair and a man in his 40s were also inside the home when police arrived. However, there was no word on whether they faced any charges. They're believed to be the grandmother and uncle of the children. The boy and the uncle reportedly have intellectual disabilities. Michelle arrived while the police were there. She was taken to the special victims unit for questioning. Police said that officers have been called to the home numerous times before. Neighbor Hector Perez said there's been drama at the home for years. Cops have been coming here on and off. Nothing has ever been done, he said. Tom McNee, who lives a few doors from the house, said the Department of Human Services has been to the home before. On Friday the 24th of March, Philadelphia police announced that Michelle and Paul were arrested and had been charged with endangering the welfare of a child and recklessly endangering a person. The investigation into the matter continues. 40-year-old Robert Castares behind bars after allegedly stabbing his wife to death during Bible study at his sister's home early this week. At around 9pm on Tuesday the 21st of March, Authorities responded to the residence along Maryland Avenue East, near Cypress North Street in St. Paul, Minnesota on report of a stabbing. When officers arrived, they found 41-year-old Karina Woodhull with severe injuries to her torso, chest and arms, and Robert was being held down on the floor by several people. Karina was treated at the scene and was taken to the region's hospital, where she was pronounced dead. Robert's sister told police that she hosts Bible studies at the home on Tuesday nights with family members. She said Robert and Corinna arrived and sat together on a couch. Robert held Corinna's hand and kissed her. At one point Robert whispered something to Corinna's ear, in which she shook her head, before he pulled out a knife and stabbed her repeatedly. Robert was then tackled by family members and disarmed. A person present for the Bible study said they provided aid to Corinna after she was stabbed, and she said don't let me die. Another witness said they believed Robert would have stabbed others had he not been disarmed. Ramsey County Medical Examiner's Office has since ruled Karina's death a homicide due to multiple sharp force injuries. Robert briefly spoke with investigators, telling them that he and Karina had been legally married for a couple of years and lived together until a month ago. He wouldn't say why they no longer lived together and requested his attorney, so the interview ended. Robert's brother told police that Robert and Karina had been having marital issues. Karina is survived by her five children. Robert's charged with second degree murder and his bail's been set at $5 million. If convicted, he faces up to 40 years in prison. Robert has previous felony convictions for assault. He used a hammer to attack a woman he had a relationship with and stabbed a roommate. The investigation into the matter continues. A 38-year-old woman has been sentenced to 30 years in prison after she pleaded guilty to charges relating to her eight-year-old son's severe malnourishment and neglect. Akemi Cox entered the plea on Wednesday the 22nd of March, almost two years after she was arrested on three counts of neglect and two counts of abuse. In February of 2021, neighbours at the Coffee Creek Mobile Home Park in Edmond, Oklahoma, called the Department of Human Services after they noticed a boy rummaging through a dumpster one night looking for food. The boy was taken to the hospital, and Edmund police became involved. A caseworker noticed that the boy's stomach was distended, yet he was extremely skinny, and his skin was sagging. The caseworker took the boy to the children's hospital, where a doctor labelled it a shocking and heinous case of child neglect. The boy wore toddler-sized clothing, that's usually for children around 2 to 3 years old, and weighed 30 pounds, and was only about 3 feet tall. Akemi reportedly kept her son on a sugar-free diet, which only allowed him to eat crackers, and she refused to let an officer buy the boy food when he was in the hospital. She reportedly even took some of the food away at the children's hospital, saying too much sugar. The boy had only gained six pounds in seven years. He was placed into foster care and is reportedly doing well. Just prior to her arrest on Wednesday the 26th of March 2021, 
Hakimi also lost custody to five other children. 